Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. It is RC related, but as you can see, this is going to be a review of an RC Spider by Baz Toy. This is an infrared controlled spider, and it's a floor crawling and a wall climbing spider. As long as you have a flat, smooth surface that can climb on. It uses a fan for suction to make a seal and then it can climb up the wall. So you have to put it into that mode, and I'll show you all that here in a moment. It's for ages three and up, and again, it uses infrared, so it's meant to be used only indoors. Uh, if you try to use it outdoors, the sunlight would, inter would interact and interfere with it, and it would not be easy to control at all outdoors. And it says it's glow in the dark. Obviously, we have the lights on today, and you, we can't, I can't test that, but I assume that that is true. So let's go ahead and take a look at the spider. It has a built-in LiPo battery and it charges here out of the rear using this little uh, pin connector to USB. Now, I was a reason why I picked this up is because my five-year-old, which you can hear next to me, she loves this stuff. So even though I wouldn't typically review something like this with Halloween fast approaching, I thought it might be fun to actually review this and she's going to want to do it. So we're going to... Uh, drive it around here inside and see how it works and I'll show you guys the climbing features. I'm probably gonna have to like use my refrigerator or the side of my cabinets or maybe over here on the pantry doors because the textured orange peel surface of the walls in the house just doesn't make a seal you know and then it won't climb that surface. So you have to have a very smooth surface. So a lot of the walls inside your house and most modern homes have that orange peel. It's not going to probably work very well on that. So you have a built-in lipo and again you charge it on the back you've got here's the infrared sensor it's got three settings of course off and then if you go to the middle this is on for just crawling across the floor and all the way to the left you'll hear the fan come on and that's very noisy and that's your wall climbing mode Shh, hold on honey here is your controller this is a go forward and back and this is a turn this A, B, and C, I can't see that this does anything. Um, I'm not sure what that would do. It's almost like if you were wanting to select frequencies, but then this is infrared, that wouldn't work. Your on and off switch it has these um, R and L bumpers, but they don't appear to do anything either. At least from what my wife told me, she was the one who actually tried this out. So if something does work, I'll let you know, but I don't think it does. And of course, this is the infrared lights right here. The instruction manual is rather poor it's not poorly written it just doesn't have any instructions on turning on the different modes so we i couldn't have first figure out how to actually get it into the fan mode to climb the walls it just tells you mostly how to put the double a batteries um actually i think it's triple a batteries let's see if it says here so yeah triple a takes three triple a batteries here so let's go ahead and we'll turn it on i'll drive it around here on the counter or maybe on the table so you guys can see it more easily and we'll just put it in the, into regular crawl on the floor mode. So there it is. And let's put it on the table. Go ahead and turn the controller on. And we'll just drive it. It's actually quicker than I thought it would be. It's, it really spins quickly. Those bright red LEDs in the front for the eyes. It's, it's a little hard to steer because it's really quick at turning. But it's pretty darn cool. You certainly startle somebody with this if you wanted to scare someone. It uses those wheels here to actually steer and turn the car. That's how it works. The legs, as we can tell here, just shake for the uh, effect. They don't do any actual walking. And here's my five-year-old. She's going to probably put it. What do you want to put it, Bren? Okay, we're going to put it on the... Uh, she wants to show you guys how it climbs on the refrigerator. When I do that... We'll have to put it into climbing mode. So we're going to put the switch over one more until the fan comes on. Now it should be able to you can see it get some suction. And now look, we can climb up the refrigerator. Of course it fell. And it will do that. All right, Bren, bring it over here. Let's try it on the let's try it on the cabinet. Let's, we need to put it up here. Let's see if we can climb up this. That's pretty neat. But see when you when you go to turn, it seems like it breaks its seal. Now, thankfully, the spider's pretty rugged. Here, let me see it. So keep that in mind. You might want to just try to creep up and look really neat like that. But when you go to turn, 
you're gonna almost certainly it's gonna want to well there we if you just turn it really briefly look at that I was able to keep it in place so maybe let's try that again let's go let's go up oh it fell again put it back on the as you can see it's not gonna be perfect at wall climbing but it's not it's better than I thought now it's got some flashing lights we've used this quite a bit so it might be saying that the battery is getting low if I turn it though let's see if I can bring it back down yeah that worked pretty good that fan mode I think is gonna take a lot more power and it fell again you can certainly keep it in that, that mode on the floor it's just gonna probably be a little slower because of the suction it's gonna want to slow it down let's just turn it back into the put it back into the middle mode here let's see and the lights are still flashing that makes me think that we are low battery now again this is expected much longer play time than that she's been playing with it and rather than trying to charge it I figured I'd just make a quick video here on it she wants me to go between her legs it's still going but obviously it's letting us know with the flashing lights that the lipo needs to be recharged so actually pretty neat little toy three and up she's almost five here so this is absolutely great for her she loves this she was so excited when it came in the mail so let's put it back into climbing mode for just a moment again it may not do as well now because it, that lipo is getting low so it's going to maybe have a little less suction but there we go see how cl overall let me see it Bren. she wants to show you let's see here is that orange peel surface you can see look it does not work because it can't get a seal on this surface it needs to be something smooth that they can actually get a, a proper seal on so as you can see here it just doesn't stay so keep that in mind so i think you know, i can hear the fan getting weaker so i think on this this little guy if you want to just play on a floor he's great and keep it in the floor mode because the battery will last a lot longer on the wall mode just put it into the wall mode if you have a smooth surface and play with it a little there that's obviously the neat part about this spider is you can play with it on the walls and it'll be a neat thing for kids see we've gone completely dead now he's completely shut off so really really pretty cool little toy um not going to be terribly expensive so i think it's going to be something that with halloween coming up if you can get one of these relatively cheap i'll put a purchase link to amazon for this it's going to work out pretty well just be realistic about the wall climbing if you have if it's flat and it's smooth like this it's going to work quite well in fact it worked a lot better than i anticipated but when you turn it just give it turn inputs and don't go forward while you're trying to turn because then it wants to fall turn it and then go back down and it does it pretty darn good i would give it a i'd give it a b minus on a a to f scale for climbing um and i give it an a for walking across the surface the biggest downside is obviously because it uses a fan to seal it's gonna it's pretty noisy so you couldn't creep up and try to scare somebody um because of the fan but then there's i don't know what the alternative would be you know what i mean uh -oh. it sort of has to use that fan and that fan is gonna make noise so end of the day pretty cool little spider I think it's pretty neat and I guarantee you my daughter will be playing with it more once we get it charged up. If you like this kind of content and RC related stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And while you do that, click the bell so you're notified when I do upload new videos and check down the video description. I'll include a purchase link to this little spider to Amazon. If you want to help support the channel, you can always use the affiliate links that I supply in the video description, but it's no extra cost to you, but it helps support the channel to make it where I can afford to continue to do this. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.